How's it going guys? It's Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage and today we are working on an exhaust on the E53 X5 with the 4.4 liter. And what we have here, so if you watch the previous videos on when we took the engine out, we cut the two exhaust pipes. We cut them behind the, the whole carrier that holds the engine and transmission. So on that one it comes out in a whole module. Uh, we clipped it for two reasons. When we go to put the engine transmission back in, it was hard to line up the exhaust studs. Uh, and for another reason, if I had to work on the dry shaft on the E53, I want to be able to undo clamps and slide the back half of the exhaust out of the way and down and be able to service that dry shaft and possibly transfer a case whenever else might go wrong. I don't have a welder. A lot of you guys probably don't have a welder. Uh, don't know how to weld. Most people don't. Uh, so we did a little research and we got this. Now this is a band clamp and let me start off by saying this company by no means paid me to do this. This was out of my pocket for the X5. I think they're around 13, uh, 11 to 13 dollars a piece. Which isn't that bad since you can remove them. You know we could have went to O'Reilly's or AutoZone and bought some little cheap U-bolt clamps. Bought a little piece of coupling to fit over it it would have leaked you wouldn't be able to take it off it had been junk uh, so we got this guy this guy is a pliable band and this is zinc coated and basically it's made by walker there's a thousand of them on ebay and your pipe slides in here and then it clamps over it like that and then it has two of the big bolts that go through here like this and thread in there and clamp down. So how it works, how it seals, this one is for a butt joint. So a butt joint looks like this. When you cut a pipe off, I have two down pipes just happen to be hanging around here, so I figured we'd use those. Uh, when you cut a pipe off, it goes like this. A butt joint is two pipes exactly the same size. It's like that. They won't fit together because they're not cut from each other. Um, so they make these clamps for a butt joint and a lap joint. A lap joint, you're going to have two different sized pipes. And this will have a band down the middle. And it'll step up or step down. Depends on what your application is. So all this does is clamp over here. But they have a little... If I could even get it off of there. It's so sticky. They have a little sticky patch of stuff in there. And that's going to cover... It's not really made to take out. I'll leave it in there. I don't want to ruin it. It's made to cover the seam. So when you bolt these together, you have the little seam right where the welds are right here. And it's made to cover that at the top of the clamp where it's not closed. That'll keep you from having a small exhaust leak at the top. That will make it a little harder to remove that, but it won't be impossible. So basically, it's going to look something like this when you're done. And then you just run the bolts down in it. And this thing, they're real bendy, so you got to kind of bend it to shape before you're going to be able to get the bolts in it. They gave you really long bolts, so you don't have to line it up too good. And it's going to look something like that. And you're just going to run those down. I'll use a little impact, not get too crazy with it. And that's going to clamp that bat together. So, you know, it's not a real super high-tech uh, operation here. But this is a hell of an update from the old-style U-bolt clamps. And these have become more and more popular. I do know if you go to buy one of these at O'Reilly's, they're a little bit wider. And this one's basically about two and a half inches wide, maybe three inches. I think the ones at O'Reilly's and AutoZone are closer to four. But they're over 30 bucks. And they just come flat and you wrap it around. They don't have near the heavy slug and stuff on the top to keep that from deforming. And this being coated, you know, it's not going to not gonna deteriorate, not going to have the issues. You can get polished stainless steel ones of these. You can get uh, ceramic coated black ones of these. It's just kind of whatever you want. And the next thing is, you guys are wondering what size these are. Almost all the BMWs have two inch pipe, but there's certain points, even on the six cylinder cars, that the pipe steps up and steps down. 
So you're not going to be able to really measure it. Well, you can measure outside diameter. If you had a, a caliper, you can. Otherwise, you have to wait till you cut it, and you have to measure the end of it right here. You have to measure across. So you definitely don't want it too small, and you definitely don't want to get a clamp that's too big. Too big is actually worse than too small. That's it, guys. That is all for the no weld exhaust system clamp fix. And thanks for watching. See you later.